What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. In case you are new here, my name is Bijan and in this video, we're going to be going over a quick day trade that I did in which I made $1,673 to be exact. Well, 10 cents as well. Can't forget about that. Uh, on It was a shares trade. Uh, I guess that's why it's a little bit of a different video here than my usual videos uh, as they're usually options trades. Uh, but I decided I'll make a video on this one here. So one of the few reasons I'd like to address, and, and I'm going to talk more in this video about why I got into this and why I did this and why I did that. I know that's what you guys like to hear. So uh, first of all, real quick, $1,600 profit. It was a day trade and frog was the stock that we were trading. Now, if you see here real briefly, in case anyone's wondering on the options chain, there isn't much volume on the options and the spread is just ridiculous. 640 by 780, 91 on the volume. And it, it's just, it wasn't a very reasonable thing to do uh, in terms of day trading. And this could have very well have been a swing trade. It actually came from the watch list as a swing trade. I got that pulled up here for you guys as well. Uh, so the original plan is basically if we can get above the 75 area, and can hold above it, I'll be looking to get long some shares or get some calls with a risk on 72.24 and a primary profit target of 80, secondary profit target, and then we could even hold a few on this trade as well. So just to kind of touch base on that, that's where it initially came from. It was on the swing trade side of our watch list as well. I'll drag that out there now. Should get rid of them now that I showed them for you guys. So it could have very well have been a swing trade, but even with it being a swing trade, I did not like that wide of a spread. That's just too much of a spread for my liking, at least, uh, especially on something that has such low volume as well. These are the types of scenarios where I usually decide to kind of change from trading options to trading stock shares. So I wanted to take a second to kind of address that because I knew people would be wondering why I did a shares trade on this instead of an options trade. I could have done options, but I just felt more comfortable doing a shares trade on this. And that's pretty much why on that end there. So now let's go look at the orders real briefly here. We can see that I got into the trade. Again, it was a day trade, meaning that I got in today and I closed it today. So I got in it at 6.43, about 15 minutes out of the open. And I closed the trade at 10.04. I had 500 shares. I got in it right around that 75 area that I was initially talking about on the watch list. Now, the watch list, we've actually had this name on the watch list a few times. I keep bringing it back. This was actually the third time uh, that I caught it for a trap. I'm sure other people might have caught it more, uh, but we initially wanted to watch it off of the, let me put you on a larger term time frame. This is actually a stock that just initially, uh, it recently IPO'd. And it had been kind of flirting with that 75 area a lot. So this was where the first area was basically looking like, hey, if we can get above that 75 area, that was the first trade of it. Then I kind of brought it back because we got way past our profit target. It was, you know, 80 was the profit target on that one. We brought it back for a second time on a dip to the 75 and it was still on the watch list. So I kept it. This is where I kind of caught it again today. That's why I traded this today is because I have my watch list. I have a certain list of stocks that I'm watching for the day and I come in and I check all of them. If one says that, hey, I'm looking for stock A to dip to price level 100 and the other one says I'm looking for stock B to dip to level 50. The other one says I want C to spike to 200. If the only thing on my list is stock A dipping to 100, if stock B is like not even near the 50, if stock C is nowhere near the 200, well, then I'm going to go with stock A. That's how I pick what I'm going to trade that day. So I came in, I analyzed my watch list, and I said, oh, well, look who it is again, right around this 75 area. So I said, that, that's why I traded it now. For, for everyone that wants to know, that, that's the answer right there. It's a very key area. It's been bouncing off of that area. Um, that, that's pretty much that. There isn't really too much craziness that goes into this trade. Very simple trade here. Now, let me break it down for you and I'll jump back to the orders. So this is right around the 643 area that I got in, right around that 75 area that I mentioned. And then right here around the 7850 
is where I got out of the trade. Now, let me go over and talk about the orders, and then I'll come back and talk about why I got out of the trade here, why this, why that. And keep in mind, the initially, from the watch list, we wanted, it, we wanted an entry around the 75 area with a primary profit target of 80. So I should have taken some profit up here, but I decided instead of taking some profit up here and then holding some for a secondary profit, let me just try and hold it all to the secondary profit because this stock tends to be something that can kind of wild out for lack of a better word. And instead, let me just raise my stop. And that's what I did. And it hit my stop at that new 7850 area. That's where I put my new stop at. That's why I got out of that area. So we'll come back, talk about that there. But let me just go in and, you know, break down the order as I usually do. Now, normally when I break down the order like this, it's because I'm trying to show you guys options trading and the power of options trading by showing you how, oh, I made an X amount of money by trading with such a small amount. This isn't really going to be that case, but I still want to break it down for you guys just in case anybody wants to know or has that confusion. And it'll also show you the difference between shares shares trading and options trading as well. So again, like I said, I got in 643. I got out 1004 AM. I'm on Pacific time. That's why it's those times in case anyone's you know wanting to complain saying, oh my God, the market doesn't even open until 930. What do you mean? Uh, so anyways, 500 shares of what is what I had. Stock frog. And I got in it at 74.87. I got out at 78.22. So if we want, there's various ways that you can calculate this. To calculate the profit, the quickest and easiest way we can say is, okay, we got in it at 74.87. We got out at 78.22. So subtract those from each other. You find the difference is three thirty-five. We made a profit of three dollars and thirty-five cents per share. I had five hundred shares, so you multiply three thirty-five, three point thirty-five, three dollars and thirty-five cents times five hundred. That gives you the profit of one thousand six hundred and seventy-five. Now we have one thousand six hundred and seventy-three here because we had some random numbers in the end there. Some you know weird half cents, I guess you will. Um, but either way, you get my point. 1,675 was the profit there. That's one way of calculating it. Or the other way of calculating it is you can say, okay, we had 500 shares at 74.87. So 74.87 times 500 is 37,435. So that also goes to show that you needed about $37,000 if you wanted to have done this trade as well. So as I like to say in my options videos, did you have X amount of money? Like, hey, did you have $5,000? Then you could have made this $2,000 as well if you knew what you were doing. Well, same thing here. If you have $37,000, you could have done this as well if you knew what you're doing. Um, but anyways, that's besides the fact. So the cost of the trade was 37435 Then we sold all 500 at 78.22. So you can do 78.22 times 500, which gives you 39000 110. So we bought it for 37,435 and sold it for 39,110. You subtract those from each other, that gives you the profit of 1,675. So there's various different ways of looking at it, guys. Um, that's ultimately what went down here is I got in it right around the 75 area. Let's go over now and talk about it on the chart here. We can, it's a little bit choppy on the uh, actual chart itself. Like I said, it's a lower volume type thing. Uh, That's why I would rather have traded the shares rather than the options, especially when the chart looks like this itself. You know, sometimes I'll trade some options that have that low of volume when it has a normal chart. But I mean, look at this thing. It's like, you know, you can see the gaps and the spaces. Uh, Anyways, that's besides the fact. We're not here to talk about that. That's a completely different topic. So here's where I got in it, right at the 643 area, the 643, 644, what was it? It doesn't matter. Either way, this is where I got in. And I kind of saw it kind of starting to reverse right around this area, holding up around the 75. So I said, okay, let me go and get in it. I held it all the way up. Obviously, I held it because I exited over here. Uh, But I had it all the way up to the 80 area, which if I did exit the entire trade at the 80 area, I think it would have been a $2,500 profit, but it's okay. That's, that's not, you know, it's not an issue. As long as the outcome is income, we still made a profit here. 
Uh, what happened is, again, like I mentioned earlier in the lesson, I could have exited half of the trade or all of the trade here. But because this stock has been known to run, and it's really, you know, it's a new stock, so I figured, okay, it could, you know, potentially stretch. I said, let me just hold it all and raise my stop instead of exiting this trade here. Um, it's also something I've been trying to practice myself is the idea of raising my stops and, you know, staying in it a little bit longer uh, without getting too greedy, of course. So I said, okay, instead of having a stop on the 7250 area or even on the 7350 uh, area, that's where I had my tight stop uh, where I would have at least closed some of it out in terms of it being a day trade. If I was treating it like a swing trade, then obviously it would have been perfectly fine to let it sit to the 7250. Even here, risk to reward wise, being in at 75, exiting at 7250 is a $2.50 risk. The reward was on the 80. That's a two to re two to one ratio. You get what I'm saying? It was a perfect trade risk to reward wise as well. Uh, but that's besides the fact. So I got in it at 75 and I decided since we had gone up to the 80, I wanted to raise my stop now to the 7850 area, basically saying, okay, if we went below the 7850, I'll just take all the profit, close the entire trade and move on. And, you know, I'm not going to say, unfortunately, that's what happened because, hey, profit is profit. We still made money on the day. But my point is that, that it basically hit my stop. It was a raised stop, thankfully. But either way, it hit my stop. I got stopped out of the trade. And that's why I exited the trade right here instead of at the 80. Um, obviously, if I closed it at the 80, it would have been more money. But that's besides the fact. So anyways, that's pretty much that, guys. I don't want to ramble too much. I know this video was a little bit longer than the other ones, but I wanted to kind of give you guys... Uh, you know, a little more than usual, just like a little treat here, a little treat there, since I haven't been making videos that often. Uh, but anyways, with that being said, we will wrap it up here. I would just like to kindly ask you if you're still, for those of you that stuck it out till the end, if you'd be so kind, go over, I'll put a link in the description. Maybe I'll put some kind of a pop-up on the screen. Go over, subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash, I think it's who's Bijan T. Uh, and then that'll also now lead into my social media Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, feel free to add me there. Who's Bijan T as well. And that's pretty much that, guys. We'll wrap it up here. I don't want to ramble too much. If you want to join the watch list that I did mention earlier about, if you're interested in signing up for that, I'll put the website um, link and all that in the description below. And that's pretty much that. We'll wrap it up here, and I'll talk to you guys next time.